Hey, welcome to another video in the database application for uh, using Java Enterprise. Last time we looked at a video, we left off with this to be done later note. And so what we need is a way to take a form and process the input when the person clicks the OK button. So there's the OK button. So let's talk a minute here about the design of how we're going to be building our apps. So this is a picture of what's called the model view controller method. MVC, as it's called, is a very common way to design applications. So far, we've worked a lot with the model. And so the model is how to update and delete things from the database usually. And then we've just started working with the view by creating an input form. So now, when the person clicks the submit button, where does that command get programmed? That's in the controller. And so the controller is going to have the methods for operating on buttons that you click on the view. Once the controller gets a button, click, it's going to send a message back to the model. So we've already seen the model work in our programming. Uh, we've done some database work, which is basically what models are. So we've got a model so far, we've got a view, and now we're going to start working with a controller. So let's switch back into our JBoss environment here. And in the source area, I'm going to create a new package and let's call it uh, controllers. Okay, and inside controllers, I'm going to uh, create a package or class and I'm gonna call this thing form controller. That should work like it is. Let's click finish. Okay, so form controller is just a class. And uh, what we're looking for is the uh, class to have some actions. So like we're going to have a public, um, uh, let's see, void. And now I'm going to say on submit edit. So that means uh, this will work when, uh, when the user clicks a submit button. So let's, uh, let's go and put this into our web app now. So let's go back to entry form. And this is where we're going to put that information. So first of all, we need to be able to link these files together. So if I try to do the uh, pound sign and curly, I get the option for beautiful thing here. But I don't see the, uh, the form controller showing up. I'm looking for something in the form controller. So let's go back and see what's missing. So inside form controller, we just need to add the uh, decorator here called um, at managed bean. Okay, so let's uh, do the import again and save the work. Now let's go back to our entry form. So now I'm going to back up here, type in a pound sign, open bracket, and there we have form controller. Okay, and now put my cursor right behind the R and a dot and you can see that I have the method called on submit. So that means whenever the uh, form controller is um, called here it'll send control over to this. Now for right now let's just put in a uh, system out message. So we'll say you clicked the, uh, the OK button. Now we're going to test this out now. Let's save the work here. And let's go back to our entry form and uh, run it. Let's see what happens. And oh, 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 we got an error. Let's see Let's if we can interpret this error. It says here, something's wrong on the entry form. And it says, unable to create a managed bean for beautiful thing. OK, so I created the uh, decorator called managed bean, but it didn't work. The following problems were found. It says the manage bean, uh, let's see, uh, it should have, a, oh, it doesn't declare a no argument constructor. So that's a requirement for a manage bean. You need a no argument constructor. Let's go and put that in there. So in beautiful thing, it needs a constructor. I have a constructor here. So when we call a new uh, instance of this thing, it creates it. But it says we need a, another constructor. So this one's going to be beautiful thing and it says no arguments so we need a very simple one 
So let's save that. And since form controller is also a managed bean, we also are going to need to have the same uh, same requirement there. Public uh, void and form controller. So the constructor is there with nothing inside. Okay, so let's save that. And I'm going to uh, run the app and see how it works. Let's go here, finish. Okay, now before I click the OK button, I'm going to clear out the uh, log here. So let's clear the console. Got nothing there, and let's put in some stuff here. So let's say cotton candy is a cool thing, and I love sugar. And let's give it a rating of 4. Click OK. And down here it says here you click the OK button. So that means the uh, method obviously is being called. So I'm going to put out an outline of what we have to do in the on submit button. First of all is we have to get the um, we have to read the uh, the get values from the form. So you remember in uh, in any kind of programming with webs you have uh, posts and gets. Well, we're going to use get on this one. And let's see. Then we're going to uh, store the uh, store the get values in an object. And then we're going to um, put the get values into a new web page, into a response page. We'll call it. And then um, show the response page. Now let's see. Somewhere in the middle here. We're probably going to put in, in the database as well. So let's say uh, store the uh, object in the database. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, so let's start with this first goal here where it says read the get values from the form. Now there's two different statements that we're going to use here that are going to be pretty much uh, you type here and then you're going to copy and paste them later because they're a little bit obtuse, you might say. So the first one is called faces context. And that's a new data type that's going to basically define where your application is in the computer's memory. And let's call this thing context. So this is going to be a faces context uh, object dot get current instance. And so that's the current uh, instance of the app that's running. So it imported these um, faces context up here for us automatically. Now the next thing is we're going to get the values that were on this form. So you can see that there was a beautiful thing object being tossed around here and also this form controller. So we're going to then take the uh, beautiful thing out of here. So let's go and put in our uh, type here, beautiful thing. And let's call this thing a B. Let's see, do we have to import this? It looks like it. So B is going to become whatever was on that web page. So how do I get to that? Well, let's see. We take our context value and do a dot. And we're going to say we're going to get the application that's running. And then another dot. Evaluate is what we're looking for. We're looking for evaluate expression get. And so the get value that came from the form. And we have to fill in three values here. So I told you this is a little obtuse. So first of all, it's expecting the context. We got that defined. The expression. So what are we looking for on the page, and what type of value is it? Well, the expression that we were using on the page is going to be a string. We're going to call this thing uh, pound, open bracket, and it was called beautiful thing. So that will be the uh, thing that we're looking for in the get value. And what type of object is that? Well, it's a beautiful thing, and then we'll say dot class. All right, so let's make that visible. Now, I told you you were going to just type this and probably copy and paste it for future reference. You're going to use this a lot in your controller. But what this results is, is that now B holds, uh, B holds the value of the submitted object. So that's pretty cool. So we could uh, we could put an output here just to test things. So we could do a, a feedback and say b dot and let's say get uh, thing title. So we can do some verification. So let's see item number two. It says store the get values in an object. Well, actually we just did that. So I'm going to put that above here. 
Now it says store the item in a database. So we're going to do that as a to-do. So we'll come back to that one in a minute. But now I want to put the values in a response page. So what we're going to do is now we're going to insert this back into another call to a web page. So the first thing I want to do is show you where we're going. So we're going to return a string, which is the value of the next page. So we're going to have to create a page to show a response. So I'm going to create one called response page. Okay, that doesn't exist yet. So we'll have to come back to that. And it's complaining. So it says your, your method up here doesn't have any uh, return value. So let's make it a string. There we go. Now, how do we place this, uh, this beautiful thing object into the next page? So once more, it's one of these lines that you're going to copy and paste. So this is going to be faces dot, or faces context, and uh, we're going to say dot get current instance and get external context, and then dot get request map, and then dot finally put. So. In our next page, we're going to send it a, uh, an object called beautiful thing. And it's got a capital T. And the value is going to be whatever we received earlier, which is the letter B. Okay, so let's save that. We have to put this in the database, but we can skip that for now. Let's create the response page and then run it. Let's go to our web content folder and make a new page. So our new page is called a response page. Okay, now the response page, we're gonna take out all the code and just leave something simple. Let's see, we got a table. Okay, there's a good start. So our response page is gonna be just what we typed. We'll echo it back. And we're gonna say H, and this time we're gonna put in output, I think it's called, output label. So, and the value, we're gonna say the beautiful thing dot uh, title, how about, I think it's called title. It's called thing title. Okay, so we're going to echo out the uh, thing title, then the thing description, and the thing rating. So that'll be pretty simple. Let's save that, and uh, let's see what happens. Let's run the page. So we're going to start with the entry form and we'll run from there. So something nice. Let's try, um, I like summer breeze. And let's go and give that about a four and okay. Okay, so you can see something didn't work. It says we have a, a null pointer. I got something that didn't come through. So it obviously doesn't know that I hand, or tried to hand off anyway, the, uh, the bean. Let's go see if I did any typos. So let's go back to our um, entry form. That seemed to be okay. How about the form controller? So how do you spell beautiful? There it is, B-E-A-U-tiful thing. Let's save that. I bet that'll make a difference. So I'm gonna close my app and rerun it and see if that helps. Okay, so what was I saying? Summer breeze. Okay, let's come back and see if we can find another error. Uh, looks like we have a capital beautiful thing here, so I'm going to change the uppercase to low and save it. Let's try it again. So typos are pretty picky on Java. You've got yourself uh, case sensitivity and whatnot. Let's go and try something else. Uh, pizza is good, right? Uh, especially pepperoni. Okay, and that's worth a three, and let's click OK. There we go. So the response page, we got pizza, especially pepperoni, and three. So it looks like we've got ourselves an input and an output going on. 
Now we need to go and work on the database part. So as you recall, we have the uh, next part to do, which is right here. So let's save that for the next video.